What do you think of when you hear amateur radio? Do you think of ham radio or maybe even the CB radio played up in the movies? Well, amateur radio has been around over 100 years, starting at the very beginning of radio broadcast history in the early 1900s. I don't think the fathers of radio could have ever predicted the evolution of amateur radio. However, it grew and emerged out of the experimental radio stations and the military's use of radio. The first use of radio was between ships at sea and their ports of call and destination. In the early years of amateur radio, experimenters really did use just about anything to build their own transmitters and receivers. The antennas used by hams were simply long strands of wire cut to specific resonant wavelengths and hung from trees. Today, the radio spectrum is a national resource, and amateur radio still occupies its fair share of frequencies from the low 160 meter band all the way up to 1200 megahertz. It has been said, when all other forms of communications fail, amateur radio gets through. So after 100 years, amateur radio has undergone several changes and is still popular and an effective, reliable communications method. How old do you have to be to become a ham radio operator? Good question. There is no age requirement, and that means kids are welcomed into the hobby and learn all about electronics and communications. Organizations like the Boy Scouts of America have been motivating youngsters to study amateur radio for their merit badge for several years now. There are thousands of hams that got their start in scouting. Amateur radio is so important that the International Space Station and the Space Shuttle are both equipped with amateur radio equipment to communicate with Earth from space. Many elementary school students are making this out of this world QSO even on a small handheld radio like this one. You don't need to be an electrical engineer or even want to be one to become a ham radio operator all you have to do is study for and pass a short test on rules, operations, and some theory, and you're on the air with your very own call letters. The three license classes are Technician, General, and finally the Amateur Extra. There have been several examples of youngsters under the age of 12 that have earned their extra class license. Today, the computer has all but replaced the Morse code, so the FCC has removed that requirement, allowing anyone to earn a license without the code test. Where do you go to buy and sell ham gear? Well, how about the many ham fests that are advertised on the ARRL website? These ham fests are large flea market style events that provide a lot of opportunity to see fairly priced amateur radio gear. Like all hobbies, amateur radio can get expensive and there is an upper shelf for those with money to spend. But a basic ham shack could be built around a transceiver like this TS2000 by Kenwood. Yes, the familiar Kenwood, the stereo name, also makes fine amateur radio gear. For around $1,600, this would be a great start to a wonderful hobby that educates, informs, and like all hobbies, passes the time. But in a time of emergency, your station will become an important link in our nation's amateur communication network. You can learn a great deal from working with a local ham or radio club in town. Amateur radio operators have a long-standing tradition of mentoring. They call themselves Elmers. Elmers do take pride in teaching others all the ins and outs of amateur radio. For more information, explore the ARRL website. Now that's A-R-R-L dot com. Also, there are several other sites for used equipment and information like QTH.com and 
qrz.com. Even if you don't feel inspired at this point to become an amateur radio operator, you may someday in the future. For now, however, you have learned a great deal about a very special hobby that forms the backbone of our nation's backup communications network. After viewing the Walter Cronkite video, Amateur Radio Today, I know that the next time you hear the words, Ham Radio Operator, you will form a different image in your mind of countless Americans that devote their free time to a hobby that helps make America the greatest country in the world.